agency was meddling in judicial affairs. We're talking about the ISI, the Inter-Services Intelligence. And listen to the details. The judges say their relatives have been kidnapped and tortured, their bedrooms bugged, and their houses surveilled. The letter details seven specific instances. In one case, ISI operatives pressured a judge through relatives. He was eventually hospitalized due to high blood pressure. In another, in another case, a judge's brother-in-law was abducted. He was later given electric shocks. Out of the elections this year, they wanted to get him disqualified. So some 150 cases have been filed against Imran Khan. Just one problem, though. The courts did not always play along. Let me take you back to August 2023. Imran Khan had been convicted in the Tosha Khana case. He was found guilty of siphoning off state gifts. But the Islamabad High Court helped him. They suspended the three-year jail sentence. They also ordered his release. Of course, the army just arrested him in a different case. So in the end, it did not matter. He remained in jail. But the court has not given up. This week, the same Islamabad High Court suspended another sentence. This time in a different Tosha Khana case. They decided to reverse Imran Khan's 14-year jail term. So let's connect the dots here. Imran Khan's team keeps appealing at the Islamabad High Court. The judges keep giving him relief, so the same judges get harassed by the ISI. And none of it is unbelievable. It sounds pretty much on point for the Pakistan army, the Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif. They decided to form a one-man committee, basically to investigate these allegations. A former Chief Justice was named for the job. His name is Hussein Jilani. Again, just one problem. Jilani said, I won't do it. He decided to recuse himself from the committee. Now, you may ask, why would he do that? Why wouldn't he help his fellow judges? And the answer is, this is Pakistan. If you investigate honestly, the army will target you. If you do not investigate honestly, you will be complicit. So either way, you lose. And looks like the army is already on the job. On Tuesday, eight judges of the Islamabad High Court got threatening letters. The envelope was filled with a suspicious substance. Today, it was the Lahore High Court's turn. Three judges there got letters with a suspicious substance. If this is not intimidation, I wonder what is. Imran Khan's party wants the Supreme Court to hear the matter. Hundreds of lawyers are demanding the same, but so far the Chief Justice has not done so. Now, lawyers in Pakistan can be quite powerful. In 2007, they led a movement against dictator Parvez Musharraf. It eventually led to his ouster. So could there be a repeat this time? As of now, it looks unlikely. But that's no excuse to ignore.